All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your conversion pixel. Now, to do so, we need to go into your ad account, and under Tools, we're going to go to Pixels. Okay, and they're talking about a new one here, um, but we don't need this right now. Um, we're going to use a conversion tracking pixel, the old one, for now. Okay, until the only difference between the two is there's two pixels with Facebook at the moment. Um, one is for creating custom audiences like retargeting lists and lookalike audiences. The other is for conversion tracking. What Facebook's doing in the second half of 2016 is they're going to combine those into one pixel. So it'll be one, one ID number that you use instead of two different ones. But as of right now, it's kind of, they call it the conversion tracking pixel old. So they tell you right here we're removing it, but we're still going to use this one uh, for as long as we can, okay? Just because some of the systems like Gearbubble and that are not updated yet to handle the new pixel. So we're going to go with what works, okay? So we're going to create one. And when I say this, we're going to create one for every niche that we're in. So I'm going to create one for police because that's the example I'm going to show you. So we're going to do create pixel. So you put in checkouts and there's a bunch of different options in here, okay? We want this, checkouts. We want people who bought. We're going to name it checkouts dash, in my case, police, because I know I'm going to be in the police niche doing a police necklace. Now, you're going to be making a pixel for every niche you're in. So if you're in the hockey niche, you have a hockey pixel. Football, football pixel. Um, pit bulls, you're going to have a pit bull pixel. Okay? And you can create multiple necklaces that use... The same pixel in that niche so you could have 20 pitbull necklaces out there they're all going to use the pitbull conversion pixel okay so every time you launch a new you test out a new design you have to create a new pixel just like i did it's that easy watch create pixel done okay and then all i really need is this id number to put into gear bubble Okay, and we can get this at any time within the ad account. We don't need to memorize it. I already have one created for welders in here, but there's no activity on that one yet. Um, so that's what you need to do. Every time you want to get into a new niche, you need a new pixel because our pixels are going to be per niche. All right. So just you'll see how we do that and why we do that as we move along. But just just bear in mind that every niche you have gets its own pixel so if you know what niches you're going into now go ahead and create pixels for all of them right now okay if you don't know yet if you've done your research but you're still not sure then you don't need to create all the different pixels yet but each pixel gets its own each niche gets its own pixel this id number is what we have to input into gear bubble later when we launch on gear bubble and i'll show you how to do that so go ahead and do that now and you can always come back here and create a pixel anytime you want. 